All right, so here's today's task at hand. Here's this um, fire pit, and the ki the cover that's on it is allowing water to flow inside the pit, and uh, it's rusting it out. So I'm going to make a cover that's larger than 36 and a half inches. Make one that is 38 inches, so that the water will flow away from the steel structure and prevent any further rust. So here's how I'm going to make it. I'm going to share it. Um, I'll share some video footage of it, and enjoy. Okay, so I'm making this um, 38 inch diameter cover for a fire pit. And the way I'm gonna make this is by plasma cutting out a circle. But I'm gonna have to do this um, by hand. So what I did is I know my radius, 19 inch for diameter 38. So I drilled this and put a bolt in here. And I'm able to spin around. So I'm going to fire up the plasma cutter and show everyone how this is done. All right, just like that, we have a nice big circle. And here's the curve. So it's a nice smooth cut that's left. All right, so uh, fast forwarding this project here, this cover has to have a lip on it. So it actually will like sit and rest Anyways, I forget that that's the design that, that that's what I'm doing here. So I have to put on, this, on this circle. I have to put this piece of one inch strip on it. Um, and what I'm doing here is I, I just cut it out from this bigger sheet. You saw me do it before. And I have to finish this other section. So I'm going to show you, but this is working good. I'm just taking my uh, scroll fork and I just pull it in here, grab it with one hand and with my other hand that I'm filming with right now. I'll take the MIG gun and put a tack on there. All right, so now I'm gonna make the handle. Hopefully you guys can see. So in this clip you can see I'm going to put a twist in this uh, piece of bar stock. Um, here I am heating it up but unfortunately I ran out of phone memory and couldn't actually record the twisting of the steel but you'll see an image of what it looks like after I'm done. Basically all I do is you heat it up uniformly um, and just slowly twist it. What you were seeing me do is I was heating up and getting ready to do this twist and I'm just using a crescent wrench here. Uh, it's nice and simple. I have a scroll fork, that's what you saw me using earlier whenever I was making the lip. Um, scroll fork is just this, this is the big lever that I made and uh, you can grab onto stuff and twist it, do whatever you have to do. It's really great for, uh, you really have to have an assortment of these, but uh, this one's great for flat bar. Um, 
Anyways, so I got this twist in it. Yikes, I shouldn't have touched that. So I'm kind of like looking. My depth, my depth perception is messed up because I'm looking at my phone right now. And I just touched that. It's hot. Um, but anyways, now I just have to do this bend here. And then I'll have the handle for the container lid thing. So the end product is something that looks like this. Okay, so here's the finished product. I ended up welding the outside um, seam of where the flat bar, that one inch trim meets the large diameter circle of the cover. And I welded that out, then I grinded it and made it nice and smooth. It's polished, uh, there's no pinholes or anything in it. It's a nice seamless edge. Uh, and then I welded on the handle that you just saw me make. I didn't film any of this. I just kind of got carried away with my work and just start working. And uh, here's the final picture. The customer is going to paint it. He's very happy with it. I think it's going to work out great. The concept is it's going to cover over the fire pit and prevent water from getting down into the fire pit when it's not in use and rusting it out. So it'll be black. It'll look great. Um, thanks for watching.